So again, thank you very much for coming on board for the webinar. And what what is it you're most interested in or hoping to get out of the webinar uh, yourself as a, as a physiotherapist, as a as a clinician? Well, I think any opportunity I can have to kind of um, interact uh, with people who are interested and who are passionate about pelvic pain, um, I think I, I jump at that chance because I think that we, you know, it, it, it it's getting better. And obviously with um, webinars like Pelvic Pain Matters and, and other people that are promoting different um, support networks for pelvic pain patients, it's getting, it's getting better. It's getting more well known. I'm kind of, I'm a real patient advocate. I really think that patients need to be heard. Mm -hmm. I think that their words matter. And I think that their narrative is the central tenant, the most important thing that we need to listen to. Yeah. Frequently, if I see a patient in the clinic, that the most common thing that they say to me at the end of our first interaction is, and maybe not at that time, perhaps maybe later they might email me, they might text me, they might call me, and they'll say that they finally felt that someone had listened to them. Mm -hmm. They finally felt heard. And that might be after quite a long time. So I think I'm kind of um, I'm kind of interested in um, do any, anything, really, any platform where uh, we, I can stand up and say, listen, let's listen to patients, let's listen to what they have to say and let, let them be heard. So I, I think for me, I'm, I, I'm a big uh, fan of um, Sandy. I met her a good number of years ago, maybe six years ago, five or six years ago, I think, at a conference. And um, and, and she has, I follow her on social media and she, she has... A, she says things that I really agree with, and I think we're kind of on the same page. So, um, I'm, I'm, I was, I was kind of quite, um, I felt quite proud to be asked to be on the panel since she's the, she's, she's the, the headliner. So, um, yeah, that, that, that's really it. I think um, I'm, I'm looking forward to. It. I think any of these things. I, I actually sat in in your last um, webinar and I, I really enjoyed it. I love the whole patient advocacy. I think we need patient advocates, we need patient mentors, we need patients to be part of the whole story because we, we can't take it away from the patients because it is their, it's their story to be told.